So I just did F5. I just noticed that video got cut out too. I wish it wasn't so late at night. Kind of stinks. I'm just kind of running low on time. I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. This can keep me here till midnight. Plus, I have to process all the videos and upload them to YouTube for you guys. This is six product property of logarithms. Log tuv. <laughs> Log tuv. Oh, I'm glad they kept an alphabetical order. So the way I teach this here in Dresden High School, Tennessee, is I teach, and I make kids memorize this, a logarithm that contains x, y, z can be broken apart as a log of x plus a log of y plus a log of z. We call this an expansion. So I use the same property here because they're asking you to write it as a sum or difference. So when it's nothing but multiplication, we break it apart through addition. Uh, there's a rule, there's, there's a reason for that. If it wasn't 11, 10 at night or whatever it is, I would teach that to you. But we're going to have a log of t plus a log of u plus a log of v. And submit and super, know what I'm doing. This is log 19yx, it's the same thing. We'll have a log that contains a 19. We'll add to it a log that contains y. And we'll add to that a log that contains x. And we'll be done. Terrific, Milbrath. That one's the same. Let's bump this up a level, not bore you with anything easy. Level two. So level two takes that same property, it just works on that property the way I wrote it from right to left. So think of it as this, a log of x plus a log of y plus a log of z can be condensed to a single logarithm that contains a log of x, y, z. So when I look at this one, I'm kind of assuming they want us to do some multiplication. We'll find out. I would think of this as a log that contains 2 times 8 times 3, which if my brain is thinking right, is a log that contains a 48, because 2 times 8 is 16, times 3 is 48. I know that that throws some kids off. Some kids just not as quick as you want them to be when it comes to working with numbers. Hopefully they don't want 2 times 8 times 3. Ah, see, they wanted that. This would be the same. This would be a single logarithm. 5 times 3 is 15, times 9 is what, 135? So same property. I'm going to jump up because probably division's next. Oh, no. They got a little bit of other stuff in here. This thing is kind of special. If you've watched any of the previous videos, I've alluded to this rule. A log base B of A to the R is equivalent to 8. I'm oh, sorry. I'm thinking about the number there. Is equivalent to R log bases B of A. So that dude right there. You know what? Too late. I don't need that. That exponent's fine where it's at. A log of a 6e, by the way, to the first power, times e to the eighth, times e to the first. I just got to add exponents. It's a single logarithm that contains 6e to the tenth. Sorry, I can really feel the fatigue hitting me right now. I had a, I've got a two-year-old kid that just doesn't want to sleep. And it's just wearing me out. I got about four hours of sleep the night last night. And here it is this late. I wonder if, I'm a little curious if they want the 10 out front, but I don't think they do. Uh, we have log base y of 11e. We're supposed to a sum. We did that earlier. This would be a log of y of 11 plus log y of e. That one's easy. That one's easy. Can you prove this statement using properties of logarithms? Assume all expressions exist and are well-defined. We're actually pretty far up there. 
we have a common base, so this is fine. V to the fifth stay the same, x to the squared. Yeah, that's a true question. Terrific. I'm just going to take this one here. Is this one true? Well, 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 7 is 81. That's false. I got a spectacular! Sweet!